Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you new here, my name is Sherjan. I was in investment banking at Morgan Stanley and before that I was at Google. But on this beautiful internet, I am your personal mentor. So today I want to talk about something which is called stages of a career, right? If we don't know what stage of a career we're in, then it's hard to kind of figure out how should we perform, what should we look after, what should we kind of train for, what are some of the opportunities we should be on the lookout for, and how should our mind be in that moment, in that stage? So the way I think about it is like, you know, life is in a three stage process, especially your you know, career life. So when you think about it from an aspect of stage one, and a lot of you might be in stage one, which is let's just say you're in high school or you're an undergrad or you're in the early part of your career. So I'd say around you know, 15 years old to maybe 30 years old, right? This is the learning stage, right? This is the stage where you don't know anything and you wanna go learn as much as possible uh, about all the different opportunities. You wanna try every flavor that exists out there. So what that means is this, imagine you're an alien, right, from some other planet, and you know, somehow you stumble upon Earth, you get to Earth, and the first place you went to or you go to is this uh, ice cream store, haagen and haagen is my favorite ice cream, and within haagen my favorite ice cream is green tea. So if you ever wanna send me a box of ice cream or a tub of ice cream, please send me haagen uh, green tea, nothing else. If you're in Asia, then matcha green tea, so it's a little bit different. But anyways, you get the point. So you go to this ice cream store, and there's all of these flavors. There's 50 flavors of ice cream uh, that are there. And what I want you to do in the early stage of your career is I want you to go take a spoon and try each flavor, right? Try mango, try green tea, try chocolate chip, try mint. I don't know who, all those people who tried that, but try all of these flavors, right? All of these 40, 50, 60 flavors, and see which one you like, right? And what that means is like you basically are in this like buffet of ice cream, of these amazing flavors that you can go and just taste. And that's the beauty of being in the early stage of your career. So how do you do it actually without going to the ice cream store? So the way you do it in real life is you go talk to people. Early on in your high school, go talk to people that are a little bit older than you who have chosen different universities and see what their experiences are like, right? So maybe someone went to Harvard, someone went to UCLA, someone went to LSC, someone went to some school in Australia, right? Any of that, talk to everybody, right? Don't, you know, cancel out on a flavor that you're just like, hey, have some like, you know, misconception again because, hey, it's not a good school or something, you know, else. Always try the flavor. Worst case, you take one bite, right? You don't have to make the commitment there. Similarly, when you're an undergrad, go try different things, try different courses, you know, talk to different professors, especially on your career side, go talk to everybody from all different industries. Don't just focus yourself on like, hey, I wanna be a consultant or I wanna be a product manager at Google, or I wanna be an investment banker at Credit Suisse. No, go and like speak to anybody and everybody from all sorts of different industries, all ranks. It doesn't matter if they're managing directors or summer interns, right? Go talk to as many people and ask them like, hey, what's the day like in your like, you know, day-to-day -day life? What's your like, you know, 24 hour looks like, right? Ask them those questions. What do you do on a daily basis? What do you love about your job? What do you hate about your job, you know? How are the people like in whatever you do? Because the thing is, you're not gonna get these chances later on in your life. You can only get these chances early on in your life in stage one, which is the you know, phase of like trying everything, you know, ch checking out all those flavors. So if you're in stage one and you're still figuring out life, which is good, you're still confused what you, know, what you wanna do, what should you do, don't go towards herd mentality and do things that other people are doing. Things that other people are doing, they're doing for their own reason. You need to figure out what you wanna do. And the best way to figure that out is to go explore. So phase one, stage one is exploration. Try everything possible. Then you'll get into stage two, right? So stage two is a place where, you know, think about it yourself as a basketball player. You know, you've played in a bunch of, you know, little leagues, you played in your community, on your community street court, you played in, you know, maybe varsity, but now you wanna go pro, right? You wanna go pro and you wanna basically sign up for the NBA draft. And you wanna say, hey, I wanna get drafted to some of the best professional leagues out there. And that's stage two. Stage two, in my opinion, is when you go pro. And by going pro, what that means is you basically pick one of those flavors, the ice cream flavors from haagen and you say, you know what, I'm gonna double down and I'm gonna learn everything that I can about this one flavor, right? This one industry, this one sector, this one vertical, maybe this one geography, right? And you become the best at it. You, you know, connect yourself with everybody and anybody you can who can teach you everything you can learn about that one, uh, you know, vertical sector, whatever. So that usually happens when you're 28 to 30 years old. So probably when you're like late 30s, 
right? So it's probably not as long as a 15 year journey, like, you know, like I said, from high school to 28, 29, but it is kind of like from 28 to 36, it's about eight to 10 year long journey where you go and you convert yourself from being just a street baller to a, you know, to a professional baller, right? So that's kind of the difference, that's stage two. I consider myself in stage two. And, and the best part about how you figure that piece out from stage one to stage two is you don't take anything that you hate doing to stage two. So I make a list and I'll make another video on this later on, which is about the things that I don't like doing and the things that I love to do, right? And especially the things that I don't like doing, I don't take them from stage one to stage two. So for me, for example, I enjoy talking to people, I enjoy networking, I enjoy public speaking, I like the qualitative side of things a lot more. I don't enjoy sitting behind a computer a lot. I don't enjoy like doing deep research analysis and figuring out why EBITDA is you know, not you know, 0.05% greater than something else. Like that doesn't matter to me. I'm a more of a big picture guy. So my stage two, I don't wanna go double down on becoming a better financial analyst. I don't wanna go double down on like understanding you know, macro and microeconomics and all that stuff. That's not what I wanna do. But that doesn't mean that's not something you wanna do, right? So figure out what are some of the things that you don't like doing and leave them in stage one. Those are the flavors you don't wanna carry forward. Just focus on one or two flavors and become pro in them and that's stage two. The final stage is when you become a master of that, right? You refine your skill, you basically become the best at it in the world. And that usually happens you know, after 38, 39 years old. And that's the, the last part of your career. That's probably the longest part of your career. For the next like you know, 25, 30, 40 years, you're gonna become a master of this, right? Everybody's gonna know you for knowing this one thing. If someone says, hey, investments, Warren Buffett, right? That's what they think. When someone thinks space now, they think Elon Musk. When someone thinks electric cars, they think Elon Musk. When someone thinks you know, beautiful design, right? They think Apple and Johnny Ives. So you become a master of that one thing. And that's where, you know, if you're in that stage, and I'm not, so this is just me uh, forecasting out, that's how I'd wanna think about life, is you know, in the next five to seven years, I wanna know that I've become pro at this one game, whatever that game is for me, right? And then for the next 25, 30, 40 years, I'm gonna become the world best at it. All right, so those are the three stages, guys. The first one is exploration. The second one is doubling down and learning as much as you can about that one vertical, going pro, right? And the final one is becoming the best at it. So tell me in the comments, which part of life or which stage are you in right now? And I'd love to know, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next week.